Hello and welcome to Evil Walks Among Us. Today on Episode 3 of The Haunting at the Old Mill, the Demon Hunter Society interviews another resident ghost hunter named Tim Rehan. Tim recalls strange events that he witnessed in the mill's banquet hall, so the team sets up in the hall in order to see what they can capture. History of the old mill is in proud display in the lobby. Henry Ford even once owned a mill, using it for creating some of his automotive parts. As the team leaves the basement and heads to the main floor, Jeff heads over to interview another person that has spent a lot of time in the mill, Tim Rehan. Now I'd like to introduce Tim. The team sets up in the banquet hall. They are hoping to gather some evidence from this area, as Tim Rehan and others have seen much activity here. Recording on this one live. Almost immediately, disembodied sounds start filling the air. Hello. 
Everyone is hearing audible noises, caught on camera. And they can also hear the noises with their own ears. Knocking, and sounds like something brushing up against a fake tree near the bathroom door. Everyone is hearing sounds coming from the banquet hall, but they cannot agree as to what is causing the sounds. spirit speaks, and then the electromagnetic field indicator spiced. Are you getting closer? Quite thing. The EMF meter is registering temperature and electromagnetic fluctuations. These changes are often used as a sign of a spiritual presence. Jeff is concerned that Denise may have an attachment, as the Mel meter seems to indicate higher electromagnetic fluctuation when the meter is near her. Demon Hunter Society is aware that many spirits will disguise themselves as deceased humans, or ghosts. Like I said, we're not here to cause any harm. We're here to observe and document whether spirit loving beings reside in humans. The DHS is also aware that their theories and beliefs are often outside of the social norm. Let's go. Well, we're here for you're not afraid of us, are you? While others are chasing ghosts, the Demon Hunter Society is hunting malevolent, evil specters that don't appear to have ever lived as humans. You are afraid of us. Are you... Are afraid you're gonna get kicked out of here? Nathan asks this question because the spirits seem to know that Jeff is an exorcist. A popular theory is that water and limestone create energy which attract and influence spirits. Did you drown in the water? 
The stone tape theory suggests that natural materials such as limestone have the ability to capture and retain energies from the living world around them. There is an extension of the stone tape theory known as water memory. Is there a lot of manifestations from the water, from the flowing water? Water inside of minerals that is actually capturing and recording events. Nathan refers to a REM potted audio recorder lying on the ground. And if you're not going to talk into this device, talk into that little device here down on the floor. See if you can also make that blue light shine. Just go ahead and touch this. That will light up for us. software on the computer allows the spirits to speak verbally through the speakers or to choose words from a database in order to verbalize what they wish to communicate. Thank you for listening to Evil Walks Among Us, Episode 3 of The Haunting at the Old Mill.
be sure to listen to episode 4, as Adam and the Demon Hunter Society head back into the basement. They are hoping to communicate with any spirits that may reside there, and are in for a surprise. This has been a 777 production. Copyright 2022.